best tax laws in the world when it comes to real estate. There's no question. But every country allows depreciation on investment real estate. Final words, Ken, we have about one minute. So what do you have to say? Because this is why we're always calling you. We have too much cash. You have got to provide this for us so we can go into debt here and we can reduce taxes. Does that fit your psychology, your, your belief system? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, uh, Tom always says it perfectly, in my opinion. He says, if you want to see what the IRS wants, just look at their codes. And what the IRS wants us to do is invest in housing, period. And that's, that's why we have, that's that's why we get that's why we get the benefits from it. So so we invest that money and we get the uh, the debt from the bank and which is, we're beating inflation. And then with de depreciation and other things, we're we're actually able to take that money out tax free. So we're getting the income, so we're investing our money, we're getting our, our income tax-free. And if it's a value-add deal, which you guys have been involved in a lot of with, with us, you know, then you actually get your money back. And then we have, of course, what we call infinite return, which is you've now gotten your money back and, and you paid no tax, and that's a cash-out refi, so you're paying, you don't pay any tax on that. And you still get income. So you, so you give me money, I give it back, and you pay tax legally, um, uh, you know, over that depreciation amount only. So let me explain what I just said. So this $10 million property do is throwing income here, cash flow. Let's say it goes up to 20 million. What, what Kenny's talking about is we borrow out a gain and that comes to us tax-free, but that's now tax-free money. So we go from 10 million to 20 million due to inflation or what you want to call it well i well, I, I call that forced equity so i i buy a property at 10 million with the idea of bringing it to 20 before right. i buy now, it the value add yes i already know how i'm going to do it it's not just market driven you know we're, we're actually like, doing things to make it work 20. yeah so when when kenny pitches the deal to us <clears throat> we already know i'm gonna put a million here it's going to go to 10 it's going to go to 20. We're already getting income from the property. When the property goes to 20, we borrow out the 10 tax-free. Is that correct, Tom? Well, that's right. And then you borrow out the 10, but then you reinvest that 10 into new property because you've got to constantly be investing in real estate. That's why I'm always after you guys, look, you're making money. We need to constantly be reinvesting that money into real estate. And, and that's really how this system works. It, now, real estate, let me say one last thing on, on, on the importance of real estate from a tax standpoint. It is one of the few places where you can actually reduce your taxes today and never pay taxes in the future. Now, you've got to have the right financial education. You've got to have the right tax advice. But you can literally eliminate your taxes from your business today and to never pay tax on the income from the real estate in the future, even when you sell the real estate. I mean, it's it's unbelievable the tax benefits in real estate. Yeah, and that's why Donald. That's why Hillary was going after Donald Trump. He said, "Well, you don't pay taxes," and he says, "That means I'm smart." But they don't teach you this in school. But they'll tell you put your money in a 401k, which to me is a loser's game. But it's better than nothing. And don't do this at home if you don't know anything about real estate because property management is the hardest part of this game. So when we come back, we'll be going more into why real estate is, in my opinion, the best income, especially if you don't want to pay taxes. We'll be right back.